For practice it, self-check 4.4 oops 4 errors, we are given the following program, however it contains 7 errors. We need to correct the errors and submit a working version of the program. The corrected version of the program should produce the following output, which is A is the smallest. Looking at our program here, we have a class, we have a main method, and we have a method down here. So we are making two integers right here. Then we are having a method call where we call minimum a comma b. What we are going to return here, we are we are, or we should compare it to our a value. So I'm going to actually rewrite this code to make it a little bit better. We're not going to change too much. First thing that we're going to do is correct the very obvious mistakes, such as this if statement right here, where instead of braces, we should be using parentheses. Then we need to have a double equal sign because we are comparing smaller and a, we are not setting smaller equal to a. In our method down here, our header looks okay until we get to this void part. Well, it says we have a return down here. We can't return if it's a void. We want to return an integer. So we're gonna change this void to an integer. We don't need to specify what our smaller is in here. We are not declaring it, so we can get rid of this integer down here. In our else statement, we don't need to have parameters. So we can actually get rid of this by pressing a backspace. And now this is all the obvious errors completed. If we submit this, we are going to see that we get two errors still. We don't have the variable smaller in our class oops4. So to fix this, what we can do is instead of returning smaller down here, we can just return whatever these are and store it in this. So what this is going to look like is we're going to have this if statement and instead, and, in, and instead of setting int smaller equal to a, we are just going to return a. Same thing with our else statement. This is basically saying if our b is less than, this should be less than or equal to a, then we are going to return our b. So we'll take this int out and we will return a b. We can get rid of this return down here. Looking back at this main method right here, instead of comparing smaller to a, what we should really be doing is comparing this minimum part to a. Since our minimum method is now going to have, or it's going to return, whichever of these is a smaller one. So if a is less than b, we are returning a because it's smaller. Otherwise, we are going to return b. So whatever value is in here, it's going to hold in here and compare it to a. So if it returns a, that means a is the smallest. Otherwise, it's not going to print anything out. If we submit this, we can see that we have passed the test. And this is the code that will give us the answer to this problem.